interpreting. So. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Mike Wood, and uh, I'm going to be your presenter for the webinar tonight. Uh, we're going to do kind of a uh, um, FAQ um, uh, questions and answers, uh, Q and A. Uh, uh, I guess Q and A, not FAQ, um, and uh, show some some different creative things that uh, are moving out there on eBay. So. Uh, I hope to get some participation. I hope everybody's got some some thoughts and ideas there. This can be something you've seen in the past, something we've talked about before. But uh, let's uh, let's just start with it and get things going uh, with um, with anything happening. So, uh, so I'm going to. Uh, uh, I, I had a, a little update there from, I asked Robert to give us an update and he says he's doing a lot of work on his blog lately. Uh, um, I, I think my eBay's <laughs> going to slow down here pretty soon with, uh, with my Viper Sharp stuff going on. Uh, it's taking a lot of my time. I've, I've got it up here today. In fact, if you can see my tabs, I've got, uh, quite a bit of research I've been doing on that press releases I'm writing, uh, web page I just moved yesterday, um, so yeah, my, my eBay's taking a little bit of a backseat right now too. So I understand that, uh, Robert, that you're not doing as much there. Um, but I still like to work with the, the creative things. And one of the things that I have found, um, beneficial to me is to, to work with items that I can do a sell similar and, uh, do multiple listings of similar items real easy. Uh, and I'll show you some of those that I've done, uh, and these have been selling uh, quite a bit lately, pretty pretty well. I, I think I've talked about this in some webinars, but uh, I don't have any other uh, uh, comments coming in yet, so I'm going to show you some of mine that I've done. But uh, if you look at this, these are all listings that I did just uh, whoops, just earlier today, right here. So these are all just Arkansas Novaculite stones. These are. Uh, um, uh, broken pieces of uh, of stone from my uh, supplier for my uh, viper sharp um, sharpening system so uh, with this system i've got to uh, see if I, there we go so i've got these different stones here the white ones and this black one or, or grayish one here those are all uh, Novaculite uh, stones uh, arkansas stones that are cut out of the ground here in the usa and so uh, uh, when I was talking to the guy, uh, you know, being a creative eBay seller, I thought uh, about, well, I wonder if this kind of uh, stuff will sell, you know, without being in the shape of a, of a sharpening stone. And sure enough, I've got quite a few uh, of those items uh, out here selling quite well. And I, I pay a dollar a pound for them. So I'm uh, you know, I'm doing pretty well with uh, the sales that I have. And I have sold quite a few of them. So I've continually listed those. So this is an item where they, they sell anywhere from 7 to $15 a piece generally. Uh, we'll go in and see uh, if I can find uh, some of those. There's uh, an obsidian, similar kind of thing. Uh, uh, sold for eight ninety seven the other day. Uh, there's some more obsidian that sold. I thought I had recent uh, Novacula, and I know I did. I don't know why they're not didn't sell that many things since I sold it last. But there's one right there, uh, sold for twelve ninety seven. Another one for twelve. Uh, uh, another couple uh, behind behind that seven and eight ninety seven that sold. Um, you know, and they I mean they move pretty fast. There's another one down here. Uh, so some of these sold right after I I listed them, uh, and you know, this is just raw, cut, dusty stone uh, um, from a quarry and uh, pieces that they basically throw away. And uh, they sold them to me pretty cheap. And uh, I've put them up here uh, as just raw pieces and have been selling them on uh, on eBay uh, pretty consistently. And so that's something where I can get one listing up and then just do sell similar and change the ounces. And that's all I need to change. So I have made slight differences to some of the titles uh, on some of them just to, to see if I get different uh, um, different things out of that, uh, you know, different uh, 
responses. And that actually makes me wonder if maybe I should do something different here. So this one, maybe I'll open that and uh, I'll try doing some with this uh, title uh, that has flint napping, skinning knife, arrow, heads, raw, uh, and then the, the weight. Um, I've been doing more of them like this one here, and I have sold quite a few of these, flint napping, skinning, knife blank, sharpening stone. Um, and uh, so those have been uh, uh, selling pretty consistent. And that's one that I'll probably do more for the uh, the squarish type, the, the rectangular, you know, those that have a lot of flat sides where this stuff that is bigger pieces, uh, I'll do maybe more of the arrowhead type uh, um, term. So that's something that uh, that I've been working on that is easy to just list a whole bunch of them. As, uh, as you saw earlier, I, I got several of them up today while I was on the phone. You know, it's, it's something I don't even have to really think much about. <laughs> and I can just do those listings and take quick uh, images and, and just get those up there. And so things like that where you can do a sell similar and sell lots of uh, individual listings, create lots of individual listings of similar items, that's a great way to go. And that's something you can do even with dropship items. If you have a, a certain item that has color variations or size variations, we'll do a, a listing for each one. You know, uh, this one's for a size small. This one's for a, uh, uh, a size large, size medium, size extra large. Uh, this one's for a blue, this one red, this one yellow, this one green, orange, whatever, right? And so all you have to do is change that one or two words uh, in the listing, and you've got a, another quick listing up there. So I do have a question here that we can start with. Uh, please uh, keep putting your questions in there. Uh, uh, we've got uh, a question here. Are arrowheads a good product to list? Well, let's go out and search it, shall we? So we'll do a search for arrowheads, and we can see 11,175 listings up there on arrowheads. Uh, and then if we uh, scroll down and look at uh, how many of those 11,000 have sold in the last three months, we've got 27,000 sold. So more than currently listed have sold. So I'd say yes, uh, it's very good. Uh, thing to to sell. Just don't let the government know about it if you're finding it on government land. Uh, say it's from private land. So you don't have to deal with the BLM nonsense. But uh, yeah, so that's that's definitely a, a product worth selling. We've got uh, um, this one here that's a hand tool that's sold. We've got uh, uh, an artifact arrowhead here uh, that uh, uh, sold. We've got one here. I mean, there's a whole collection of them that, that have sold. So there's definitely some potential there um, for some of that. Uh, that's something that I think would be worth looking at if that's something you have access to. And things like this, um, I think it's likely that these people are creating these themselves. They aren't necessarily uh, authentic. Uh, um, you know, ancient arrowheads necessarily, but uh, are uh, they're doing their own flint napping and uh, creating those. And that's what I sell my uh, stone for, is for people to, to go and make things like this. And uh, I guess uh, if somebody gets uh, real efficient at it, then uh, they can do a uh, an arrowhead in a, you know, in pretty short order, pretty quick time. I hope so because they sold 47 of these for 1626. So, uh, bidding on uh, the points in the picture, each point is one of a kind and no two are alike. Uh, amazing flaking, breathtaking colors. Points will be great, out of great. Okay, uh, um, hand picked from the thousand of points I still have to sell. Uh, from my personal collection that I have acquired from auctions all over the state of Ohio in the past 20 years. So this is uh, one where he collected them from auctions. Uh, um, that throws out another idea to me. Hey, you know, this guy's getting this kind of thing at auctions in Ohio. Well, let's look up auctions in Ohio and find out what kind of things they have at those auctions, right? Uh, and there, there may be other things, uh, or you might find auctions that offer these uh, arrowheads. So... Um, something worth doing a little research, uh, just again doing uh, some Google searching on uh, um, 
on Google there to, to find out what auctions are available there. Uh, got uh, another question here from Robert uh, uh, about the webinar that I did for uh, writing our own details on eBay. Uh, and uh, that's a good uh, good question. We'll we'll go look for that uh, here. In fact, let's uh, let's keep eBay up over here, and we'll do that over here. Um, so I think that is uh, I think I titled it template eBay template or something like that. So if we look in here on the webinars topic, if you're looking for something and you want to search by a keyword, just go to this webinars by topic page and press Control F for find or Command F uh, on a Mac computer, and then do a search for template and see uh, so there's only one that comes up in there so that tells me I might need to upload it maybe I haven't put it in here um, let's see did I call it uh, details nope there's only one uh, of those so uh, yeah so I might need to add that one in here um, I'll just look through and see if I can find it here. List it overseas, dare me to sell it. Uh, uh, surplus. So, yeah, I might have to. Uh, I'll, I'll double check that and I'll upload it. I, I don't see it in here. Uh, I thought that I had, but I'm not seeing it in here. So. I will load that in there and probably put the word template and maybe uh, eBay details, eBay details template or something like that um, so that it will be in there. So thank you for uh, noting that there, Robert. I'll uh, I'll be sure and put that up. All right. So one thing you can do too is when you find a seller, like this guy's got 14,500 plus on his feedback. Uh, when you find somebody like that, see what other things they're selling. What else do they have out there? Is there something that we could do? He's getting these silver coins probably from uh, from the auctions as well. And uh, uh, I, the thought came to mind that he's making a pretty penny on them, but uh, I guess it's a pretty nickel, huh? So anyway, uh, uh, he's got some uh, uh, you know some other things listed there. Here's a an auction with arrowheads and a, a coin in it. It looks like. Uh, Blue agate hand carved bowl. Um, that uh, that makes me think that hey maybe uh, maybe we could sell you know a chunk of agate or stone um, for turning you know turning stone or something. So that might be worth looking at. Um, black uh, Sulamani agate bowl hand carved, pure gemstone handmade. Uh, so there's another interesting little item there. Uh, another one uh, jasper bowl. Um, so I wonder, as I look at this, uh, see, as I go in and look at these things, then I can come up with uh, ideas of um, of other things that, that I might be able to sell. So we've got uh, these geodes and crystals there. If that's something that you can get, uh, then that might be worth listing. Um, we've got these bowls that made me think of blanks. We've got these... Uh, Obelisk, uh, uh, agate, uh, healing quartz crystals, um, the little skulls there. We've got, uh, you know, I mean, this guy's got all kinds of interesting things on his list. Uh, um, AAA red iron tiger eye, Koba Cho Ko Kabochon <laughs> gemstone. I don't even know what that is, but obviously it's worth some money, you know, that, that might be something worth looking at. There's another one, a uh, cobblestone gemstone there. Um, so that might be worth looking for uh, as well. Um, there's a, an antique marble uh, that he has here. Um, so all kinds of just interesting thing. Here's an agate slice, just a, a slice of... Uh, uh, of an agate. Now we can look at what he's got actively listed here, and I failed to see how many. He's got 1,400 active listings. We can also come over here to the left hand column and see what he sold recently. 
and we can see 3,400 sold items in the last three months. He's not playing around here. This guy's doing some serious work, you know. He's doing some real uh, um, aggressive uh, listings and, and work with his business. And so he's got a lot of these arrowheads that are are selling. So yes, uh, you're wondering, uh, Violetta, if uh, arrowheads will sell. Uh, they certainly appear to. Top quality uh, Jimmy Deep Purple Amethyst Geo Cluster Box from Uruguay. Well, I know somebody in Uruguay. I wonder if they could uh, provide me with those. You know, would that be worth uh, um, communicating with them and having them ship them to me? It might. You know, that's something worth uh, looking into. So that might be something that I'll do and, and check out uh, my connections there. Uh, all right, lots and lots of those. So what I wanted to check then is I want to see, I don't want to look just in his, so I've got to go out to do a search uh, on eBay for bull blank. Sure enough, there's some wooden bowl blanks, 979 listings of bowl blanks. Now, these are just uh, chunks of wood that uh, people are selling um, for people to take and, and turn into a turning bowl blank on a lathe. Okay, uh, How many of these types of items are selling? 2,900 in the last three months. Well, that's great. You know, so you have hickory um, wood near you. You sell a couple pieces for 15 bucks plus shipping. Do you have the uh, uh, Kanksen Negro Burl, um, Black uh, Nargusta Burl, uh, you know, some Burl wood? You do the same thing there. Black Walnut, right? Uh, so that's something you might look up. You know, Eucalyptus, uh, that's another one they have in Uruguay I might uh, check into. Pecan. You know, pecan wood. Some of you have pecan trees uh, near you. So if you have trees that you can cut up, you know, a trees in a chainsaw, I guess, to uh, to cut these, well, maybe sell them as uh, uh, bowl blanks. You know, I, I know of uh, uh, a couple of long logs uh, that somebody dropped out uh, uh, out on the desert near me uh, where they shouldn't be dumping. And... Uh, you know, some, some big tree trunks out there that I could pick up and cut up and probably use. Might be worth doing. So I might just uh, look into doing that. So that's uh, that's very interesting. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is do we have stone bowl blanks? Um, no, we don't. What about uh, agate bowl blank? Beautiful exotic orange agate wood bull turning blank so we've got wood but not uh, the actual stone or agate there all right so we uh we have some some potential there uh come on guys give me some more ideas <laughs> is this all going to be me uh throwing this out i want some some more thoughts uh, i know you guys have some other ideas beyond what i have here so throw them out there um all right what if we just do a search for log do a, uh, a log there. Um, we've got miniature logs. We've got decorative logs. We've got Lego logs. Um, what if we put uh, um, tree log? Five beech tree wood slices, log, slabs, rustic, wedding, centerpiece, cake stand. There you go. $55. For five of those, plus $42 shipping, and they sold three of them. And there's other people selling them. Look at that. Here's one showing how you can uh, decorate with it. Another one showing how you can decorate with it. Uh, so there's there's all kinds of things like that out there that uh, that are are selling. Sure enough. Uh, if we scroll down and look a little more, there's a little decoration uh, there. Here's uh, uh, somebody has carved uh, out of a uh, uh, piece of wood. Um, tree bark fabric. We've got little uh, hand-carved pine trees, primitive folk art, um, Santa Log Cabin Christmas set of three. Well, you know, I've done some some scroll saw work. That's a few minutes of work. That's not much to do that and, and glue it or nail it to the, the little uh, piece of branch there. That 
you know, that's a nice little craft project that somebody could do that wouldn't be very hard. Uh, we've got a, a tree and log skidding tong. Um, that's very interesting. So I don't know if that's a, an antique or a new item, but I, I have an item similar to that that uh, is used for picking up logs um, that uh, that I got in one of my surplus lots. Uh, if it's worth 125 bucks, I'll sell it. <laughs> I've been holding on to it just to use it for camping and such. Um, set of four tree trunk plastic black walnut drink coasters, log cabin decor. There you go. You know, cut some uh, some logs up into coasters and, and call them tree coasters. Now, here's another thing I want you guys to, to recognize as we're going through this, looking for ideas. And, and thank you for sending some more ideas there, Robert and Violetta. I'll get to those soon. Uh, but here we've got another idea, another person selling something creative. If it's something you feel like you could do or make or whatever, well, go in and let's click on sellers other items. Do they have a lot of other items up? 86 items up here, a lot of rustic decor stuff. Are they selling any of them? Look at their sold listings, 95 in the last three months. So yes, they are selling some. Uh, uh, they've got, uh, oh, look at that, a, a log uh, rustic gum wood triple tea light candle holder. You know, if you've got a way to, to cut the, the log down the center, and, and these are tea lights. I mean, those are small, so this isn't very big. You know, could probably cut that on a, uh, on a table saw, honestly. Let's go see if they tell us how big that is. Uh, nope, doesn't tell us uh, how big it is, but if we take a, a look at it, you know, those tea lights are, are probably a, an inch and a half, so we're looking at, what, maybe four inches? If you've got a big enough table saw, you could definitely uh, make that with with just a you know a table saw at home. Uh, if you get a sawmill, then you know you've got a, a little more possibility. So look at all these others that are out there. These uh, these different tea light candle uh, holders that are made out of logs. Uh, very interesting. Looks like they've put uh, a little bit of. Uh, um, shellac on them or something to to seal them up there. There's their uh, coasters. Here's the uh, um, four dog canine uh, deer antler chews uh, dog bone bundle uh, that they've got here. There we go. Look at that American whitetail uh, real deer antler keychain cabin decor. Great gift idea. Oh, they sold that one. Here's a lot of six keychains that they sold for 25 bucks. And I don't suppose those would be all that hard to make, those things. Uh, they've got several more of those types of, uh, you know, those keychains. So there's uh, some interesting stuff. Here's a rustic uh, custom handmade deer antler knife that uh, uh, that they've made there. Uh, so lots of, uh, of fun, uh, creative stuff that they've done. Here's another set of their tree trunk uh, uh Dogwood tree coasters, so you can use different kind of wood uh, for things there. Uh, let's get back to our sold listings, uh, and we'll take a look at some of these other ideas that people have thrown out here. I love those little carvings. Uh, that's that's uh, some work to do that, you know, but hey, they enjoy doing it apparently, and they're making something with it. So we'll, uh, there's some more. Look at those. Those are cool. Those are cool. Cool little carvings. I like that. Very cool. All right. And there's some more just planks of wood. Red cedar. Um, cedar. You know, I've got juniper uh, near where I live. I might be able to, to do juniper. So there's uh, definitely some possibilities there. I'll have to borrow my chainsaw from my, my son-in-law. See what I can do with that. Here's uh, 150 three to four inch rustic wedding wood tree slices decor sold on the first of March. You know, I I can get a branch and cut those real quick with with my uh, my chop saw, a little miter saw. Um, 150 of those for uh, 60 bucks. Uh, not going to cost me anything to pick up a, a branch uh, somewhere and. Uh, you know, time to cut 150 of those. It probably takes uh, two or three seconds for each cut, so it's not going to take long to put something like that together. I like that. 
All right, let's look at some of the other ideas that you've put out there for me. Seashells. This is one I looked up uh, not long ago uh, talking to one of my students. So we got 4,900 sold uh, uh, listings of seashells. And we've got some creative uh, seashells here, um, very fancy stuff. And then we've got some real uh, normal uh, kind of stuff here as well that's not anything too fancy. Uh, bigger ones are going for higher dollar amounts, of course. There, that is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, it says it's rare. It looks rare. Uh, very interesting. So I don't know where they're getting them, but uh, they are selling. Uh, scallop shells look like they've been painted uh, there or, or dyed or something. Uh, and uh, they've got those uh, selling there pretty well. Uh, uh, so yeah, seashells do sell. Now, uh, so here's a thought I had. Uh, I was talking to uh, to somebody the other day. Uh, was it you, Gwen, that, that we were talking about this? And uh, we did a search for broken seashells. And sure enough, uh, you can even find, uh, look at that, broken and, and miscellaneous pieces of seashells that are selling on eBay. Okay. Uh, here's a, a five ounce blue turquoise crushed seashells uh, for crafts, vase fillers and stuff. Uh, they're, they're just pieces of seashell, right? So there's definitely some possibilities there. And then we saw, uh, uh, oh, what was it? Beach glass uh, was another one. Uh, you know, if if, uh, if that's something that you're able to find, beach glass uh, sells too uh, for quite uh, good prices. Uh, um, you could uh, maybe search for just uh, tumbled glass. And, uh, you know, there's some tumbled uh, glass there that uh, is selling. Um, so, honestly, that uh, is something you could probably create yourself uh, with, uh, with a little tumbling or tumbler. So, so that was an interesting one that, uh, that I found, too, that I thought was kind of cool. So, um, very, very interesting to see the things that, uh, that sell there. Um, Beach glass marbles. Uh, well, look at that. Those, those blue beach glass. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. I mean, that's amazing. You know, thirty dollars a, a lot on those, and and those all sold today. One, two, three, four uh, of those that are very similar. That then they're small, right? They all sold today. So there's there's definitely a lot of fun, creative things out there for us to look for. So seashells, uh, thanks for that idea. Um, got one more here, wooden ethnic decorated Easter eggs. That's kind of a, a mouthful there. I'm going to try just doing, um, let's try Easter eggs first. Let's try uh, wooden Easter eggs. Yep, sure enough, there, there are uh, uh, quite a few of them out there that, that are selling don't look like they're selling for much. Here's one with a basket and some eggs in it. Uh, people selling the uh, just the wood eggs uh, uh, over there. So yeah, that's one that uh, that does sell uh, as well. Uh, if you find a supplier for something like that uh, or somebody that uh, you know somewhere you can get it, that's something that you might be able to to work with there. And keep in mind too, you can take uh, any of these and um, go out and work on uh, on finding suppliers for them. Do a little searching uh, on Google and such. Um, what about uh, the large eggs? So I wonder what we have with. Uh, Ostrich eggs selling out there. Real ostrich egg, thirty-three bucks, uh, eleven eighty-eight, uh, eight dollars, nine dollars, eighty dollars for four of them, ten dollars. Uh, hey, do you know anybody that has an ostrich farm nearby? I'm gonna find out. 
if there's anybody. Kaysville, Ostrich Ranch, brings a bit of the African plain to Utah. Well, there we go. We've got uh, some an ostrich ranch right here in Utah up in Kaysville and not far from me. I could contact them and see, hey, uh, what would it cost for me to buy some ostrich eggs from you? <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, there's there's several uh, that come up here. So, you know, it might be uh, an idea. I mean, if I can sell them for 10 to... Well, plus shipping there, you know, uh, uh, ten to thirty bucks for an ostrich egg. You know, if I could pay a, a couple dollars for that, it's worth doing, especially if I can buy a bunch of them. Um, and again, these are selling pretty recently. This was just a couple of days ago for those two. Uh, this one was a couple of days ago. This one was yesterday. Uh, these were yesterday. These were yesterday. This was today. This was today. This was today. <laughs> So yeah, there's definitely some some possibility there. Real ostrich egg. So this one here, uh, you know, I wonder why was somebody willing to pay uh, thirty three dollars? And this is a, this is a good thing for you guys to see. You know, why would somebody pay thirty three dollars for an ostrich egg when uh, uh, when they can get it for ten dollars from somebody else, right? And look at all these different prices here. Twenty nine ninety five, one fifty nine, two fifty, seventy, um, thirty five, thirty, twenty four. All right. So authentic ostrich egg. Uh, uh, look at pictures in great condition. Um, and they're not even letting me see the pictures now for some reason. That's uh, oh, there we go. See original listing. That's what I wanted. All right. So um, we've got a close up there. I mean, that, there's nothing special about this listing. They sold it for $33, uh, free shipping. Maybe that's the difference there. So free shipping on that one. All right, what about uh, this one here that sold for $9? Had two bids. That's part of what they did wrong is they did a, an auction instead of a fixed price. Now, that other one that did fixed price, it might have had to stay up there a little longer. But uh, these guys got... Uh, um, what six seventy five, sixteen seventy five out of theirs, where the other people got thirty, thirty three. Okay, uh, these were twenty bucks a piece, um, and shipping on top of that. So realistically, could we go in and and buy some of these uh, cheaper ones from somebody and resell them? Maybe. You know, that's that's definitely something that we could do. I I looked at uh, that idea. Uh, from a couple weeks ago and uh, actually went out and bought something on uh, eBay to resell on eBay. I haven't got it up yet. I haven't had time to put it all together, but it, it's something that I will be doing. So, all right. So we're going to, we're going to wrap it up then. So we, we have shown a few ideas and one of the, uh, one of the big things I hope you get out of this is when you find something interesting that has sold, go in and look at that seller's, uh, at, you know, multiple different sellers. I mean, here's somebody that sold these for fifteen fifty. Um, what other items do they have? They got nine hundred and three on their feedback. They got only eight items listed. It's all the glass. That's what they're doing. It's just all glass. Sold listings fifty two in the last three months. How many today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 listings sold just today of these uh, little pieces of uh, of art that they're doing, little pieces of glass. So that's one way to, to get more ideas is look at what other people are selling. When you find one thing and you, you look at all the, the sold items, and then you go in and look at the different uh, sellers and see uh, uh, what they uh, have listed and what they've sold. Uh, and then is there something near you that might work? I'll give you one more. Um, I was looking at this the other day, um, and uh, there's my search for it, and it's showing me that you've already searched for this. So I was out uh, cutting some sagebrush that I sell and uh, saw a pile of shale, just raw shale rock. Now, a lot of these aren't actual shale. These are, but this one is unique rock, decorative stripe, shale, stone for miniature fairy yard and terrarium, $4.99 plus shipping rock they picked up off the ground 
Okay, and probably doesn't even weigh much. So they've got two dollars shipping on it. It's it's probably just a few ounces, like the rocks that I've been selling. Here's another one, a little bit longer, ancient rock geode shell or slate layers uh, um, display or aquarium rock lizard stone. Thirty seven dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. Shoot, I've got rocks laying in my backyard. Go sell rocks, guys. <laughs> All right? Brown oil shell, sedimentary rock, two raw pieces. So that was one that I found. And I've got a bunch of these in my car. I've got some in here that I just haven't uh, put up yet, but I'm going to take pictures of those and, and do those. In fact, uh, I'll probably start right here. We'll click sell ones like this, and we'll start with my uh, shell stone that's all ready to go. Ancient rock, geode shell. It's not a geode, so I'm going to take that out of there. Shell or slate. So I'll, uh, I like to capitalize my first letters of uh, each of my words. It helps it stand out and grab people's attention. So I do that all the time. Uh, aquarium, rock, lizard, stone. We've already got rock over there, so we don't need it twice. Um, some people might search for raw stone so we'll put raw in there um, layers uh, layered there we go now I've got my own title that I modified a little bit from one that was there I can take a picture of my my listing and I'll just do that with uh, um, with my phone now you let's go to uh, let me show you what Robert was asking about for my template that I have uh, in my so I just use my um, Google Drive for documentation like this, create documents, and so I have it saved here as a bookmark. And it's just a web page essentially because it's on Google Drive, it's online, and this has all my details that I want to to put into my listings. And so all my listings will have the same kind of thing here. Uh, I'm going to change this one a little bit because it's not a surplus item; uh, it's a, an item from nature. Uh, but I just highlight it all, copy it, go over here to my eBay page, paste it, boom. There's my, my listing. Now I can go into this one and uh, I can change this and say uh, um, right from the Utah desert. With our out-of-control government, I want to make sure I note that it's private land so I don't have the BLM throwing me in jail like they like to do. Some silliness. Item condition. Item uh, uh, is uh, uncleaned uh, straight from the earth. Um, natural raw stone. Uh, see photos for size and details of this rock. <laughs> yep, I'm selling a rock on eBay. And we'll take that title right there and copy it and come down and double click on my title word here and paste and boom, everything's there. Done, right? Now all I got to do is put my uh, price in there, which uh, I wish I had paid attention to what that uh, gentleman had been um, listing his uh, for. I'll make this uh, one because I'm going to do these individually, um, individual action I actual items. We'll click uh, save for later, and then I can finish it on my phone and take the pictures real easy. So now I can go back and see what uh, what was he charging for his uh, 3760 that sounds good to me and so uh, we can go in here and uh, I think the some of the pieces I have might be a little smaller uh, we'll do 2750 um, I'll allow offers and see what people want to uh, uh, to bid and this one is uh, All right, and this one's going to be just a little bit different. Um, so I'll go right here, do a comma, 
And I've already changed the uh, title, that's enough, but what I'm going to do is right down here put a, a dash 2. And what I'll probably do is actually put the weight of it uh, in. I've got one character left, I'll put a space back here. So now I've got two of these ready to go. Come up, click save for later, and I can finish them on my, on my phone. All right, well, thank you all for joining. Uh, I hope you get out there and be creative. Find something that you can uh, that you can present and sell on your own, uh, and uh, you know, get creative with it. Uh, I've made quite a quite a bit of money uh, just over this past uh, month selling rocks, <laughs> and uh, it's been.